Installation Instructions First, install the vertical micrometer into the location hole. Then align the center line of the micrometer with the screw on the fixing plate of the height gauge. Tighten the screws. After the installation, we can adjust the height of the grinding head normally by rotating the micrometer and adjust the longitudinal position of the grinding head by rotating the horizontal micrometer on the back of the machine. Move the grinding machine left and right to adjust the latitudinal position of the grinding machine. The limit blocks on both sides are used to restrict the left and right positions of the grinding head. Plug the power cord into the socket on the left side of the grinding machine. Plug in. Turn on the switch. Lighting up the screen. The booting time is displayed on the top of the screen. The number below represents the rotate speed of the grinding head. Rotate the black knob on the back of the grinding machine. The grinding machine rotates normally. We can connect it to computer through the Type-C interface on the back of the grinding machine. Upgrade the software version on AISIN platform. We can download AISIN platform on AISIN official website. Replace the grinding head. Unscrew the nut under the grinding collet. It is suggested to replace the worn grinding head. After polishing the chip about 5 times. With a new emery grinding head. When installing the grinding head. Users can adjust its height according to their own needs. Tighten the screw. After the installation, rotate the speed control knob. The grinding head is working normally. Touch IC grinding. When grinding the touch IC, fix the longitudinal and latitudinal positions of the grinding machine. Adjust the limit blocks on both sides to restrict the left and right movement of the grinding head. During grinding, users can rotate the vertical micrometer to adjust grinding depth according to the grinding effect. up debris in time. Adjust the grinding depth and grind repeatedly according to the actual effect. When it's ground to this level, the finishing grinding is needed for further operation. Adjust the grinding depth slightly or clean the pad directly with a soldering iron or a blade. Users can decide whether to continue grinding according to the actual situation. Grinding is done. Check the effect. CPU grinding. This time we demonstrate the operation of CPU cover grinding. Place the two locating pins into the locating holes on the console. Put the motherboard into the fixture which is designed with locating pins to prevent the motherboard from deviating. Fix the motherboard with rotary buckles. Adjust the vertical micrometer up to a certain height. Loosen the limit blocks on both sides. Move the grinding head aside, so as to put in the fixture easily. The locating pins can fix the fixture on the console. Move the grinding head to the edge of the chip. Then move limit blocks on the edge of the chip to the grinding head. Tighten the limit block handle to fasten. Then move the grinding head to the left edge of the chip. Make the left limit block close to the grinding head to fasten it. After the adjustment, avoid grinding into areas other than the chip. Move the slide rail to confirm that the grinding length is within the chip area. During grinding, rotate the horizontal and vertical micrometers based on the actual grinding effect. Grinding CPU appropriately according to personal grinding skills. Users can increase the grinding depth and adjust the grinding area according to the grinding effect. Clean up debris in time. Grind repeatedly according to the actual grinding effect. When it's ground to this level. Grinding carefully when it's close to the pad. Grinding is done. Turn off the grinding head. Check the effect. NAND grinding. Now we are demonstrating the operation of NAND grinding. 
Place the motherboard in the fixture. Grinding appropriately according to personal grinding skills. During grinding, users can rotate the vertical micrometer to adjust grinding depth according to the actual grinding effect. Rotate the horizontal micrometer to adjust the grinding width. Clean up debris in time. Grind repeatedly according to the actual effect. When it's ground to this level, the NAND pad is faintly visible. Continue grinding. Grinding is done. Turn off the grinding head. Turn off the switch. Remove the motherboard. Clean up with a brush. Check the final effect. For fine grinding, users can also clean the edge of the pad with a hot air gun and soldering iron directly. Above is the full operation video of chip grinding machine. Thanks for watching.